all splitters. Hey, 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 everyone. We're at Tarbucks. Tarbucks. Target Starbucks, y'all. Hi, everybody. So I had a little bit of change of plans today because um, I had roofers today at my house dancing on my ceiling. No, they were not reindeer. Disney Mitch said it was reindeer. It's not reindeer. But I'm a Target. We're going to do a little Target shopping and do some last minute shopping. How are you doing? I'm just wearing my little kitsch mask. My Millennium Pink, Millennial Pink Spirit Jersey. I've got some Hollister shorts, or shorts, what do you call this stuff? Um, sweatpants and some pink sneakers, but we're going to Target. I just ordered a um, Irish cream cold brew, so let's go shop. So if you guys haven't started or you just need some last minute ideas, we're doing this the old fashioned way. And just doing a little Target shopping. And, oh, cord tie set. That's very cute. Look at the cute colors. I always start off at the dollar spot. Three bucks. Somebody always needs to wrap up those cords and make it look cute. There you go. That's three dollars. They got gold, black. They got some luggage tags. Very cute. You never know you're going to find. They got little baby Christmas trees here at the dollar spot. So I got a buggy, I got my Tarbucks, I and mean, let's go. Of course, Tarbucks is awesome. Hello, everybody. I just had to switch my plans today because we had roofers, because we had a leak on our roof, and they decided to come today. Couldn't really leave my house. They've been dancing on my ceiling for since noon. So kind of was stuck in the house. <laughs> I couldn't really leave till it got done. So, you know, but that's okay. Got to get that roof fixed. So, um, they had, we had a little bit of a leak and that's, um, you know, we had them come in, take a look at it because it's part of like the HOA, but the HOA fixes it. So that's great. At least we don't have to pay for that, which is awesome. Um, we just have to be there when they come in. There's so much stuff. Are these just all stickers that you could put on? Oh, you could make your own art dashing through the snow, vinyl sheets. So there's so many DIY projects. I love the dollar spot because there's always so much stuff here that you could do, even little things, you know, that you could, um, these things, you know, how you don't have to open the door with your hand. These are great. Little dollar, little stocking stuffers, basically. Hopefully all of, all of you guys are done or see you could buy these little bins. Like I love making little gift baskets for people. These are great. You could just, you know, do it up some cute tissue paper maybe wrap some stuff in ribbon put it in here i mean five dollar basket you can't go wrong you can always need more you always need more stuff baskets is the word i'm looking for baskets jen baskets um little ideas last minute ideas what are these is it just a wallet super cute colors though all this sparkly things bag accessory makeup pouch that's not a lot of makeup but i guess like a little wallet it might be cute sparkly things i don't know what you would put in here maybe some makeup brushes i mean that's not a lot of makeup but hey <laughs> hey 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 simon how you guys doing toilet paper okay yeah well, we went to costco for that we're good we got a costco membership that's good for the stockpilers oh these are great privacy camera lens covers so if you think like the nsa is watching for a dollar you could cover up it's always a good idea to cover up the camera on your devices just in case you never know it might get hacked <laughs> for a dollar that's not a bad idea actually cover up the camera and all of you, like your laptop your ipad and then it just you just slide it back and forth if you want to open the camera such a good idea for the not the paranoid but the the more aware person in your life these are really cute for five dollars i guess it's for makeup but really cute colors yeah i think it's like a card holder i don't know there's not a lot of there's not a lot of room in there i got a lot more makeup than that but i love the color because it's that beige it's that like sandy pink 
yoga blocks, humidifier, no, I live in Florida, but like it's great for chargers, like I mean, AirPod holders, I mean for three dollars, you know what I mean, they're cute, like if you need an AirPod holder, three bucks, you can't go wrong with stocking stuffers, not much going on, all I need to see those drawer thingies, you could do a little baby Christmas tree, just like last minute ideas, yeah, there are not too many cute socks. There's some over there. I love these little fuzzy socks. I have so many of them, but I love them. Like these little fuzzy, fuzzy socks. They're so, so fun. I bought a whole bunch, remember, when we went to TJ Maxx Home Goods. Mm. They got some men's ones right here. They're just good for lounging around the house. You know, they're really soft. I mean, for a dollar, just put it in the stocking stuffer, you know? Magazine rack if you're redoing your desk. Oh, it's for jewelry. You know what? That's a really good idea. You know, I think I should grab one, Lori. Good idea. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. I didn't know what it was for. But all of these collapsible bins. So that's been my thing lately. Instead of wrapping the gifts, I put them in little baskets. And then just like, you know, you can tie up the shirts. Kind of like. If you're into like, if you've ever had a big little basket or just like gift baskets are super fun for five bucks, it's beige, goes with everything. It, oh, it's a sanitizer holder. Okay. All right. That is perfect for jewelry. You're right. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, you can put some earrings over here. Thank you, Lori, for clarifying. And it says, keep it together. Great idea. We're gonna go to toys you're just like rob dan you are just like rob you guys are that's good i do need a travel one for for jewelry because i'm going down south here in a couple of days so all right yeah that's a great idea so cute all right well, i'll grab one of these why not all right we'll go check out the toys we'll do the whole store don't you worry Make sure nobody runs off of my bag. <laughs> I should probably push, push push my purse a little closer to underneath the bag. There you go. It's heavy. All right, there we go. You're like Rob. He does his 7 a.m. Um, oh, these are great um, to do candy in. Like if you buy candy by bulk, you could fill it up with candy. And these are really, really cute to put in one of these little baskets fill it up with a person's favorite candy and you could reuse these wonderful little mason jars for things you know they're super cute just making little baskets there's like a dollar wrapping paper you know in a pinch you don't gotta get all fancy 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 <laughs> i have a lot of i buy it at costco usually I, I keep them for years and years and years Yes, me too, girl. I love those fuzzy socks with your boots. I always, me too, Micah. I love it. We're definitely going to go do that. So, oh, thank you so much, Alyssa, for that super chat. Keeping that super chat train going. We're going to Starbucks. Well, it's Tarbucks. Tarbucks. Oh, um, hi, Lori. Yeah, so that was what happened today. I was going to let you guys know. We had the roofers come in. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Alyssa. Champagne or Prosecco pop em bottles. Little flowers, a lot of pink flowers. And these are great for keeping your in your vanity or your desk drawer, $5. I know they have them pretty cheap at Ikea too. I need to get a whole bunch of these, but I kind of need the longer ones to put like makeup in. But if I don't find the ones that I want, I can probably just get those for $5. You can't really go wrong. Price is cheap. Toys. Last minute little toys for kids. Here's like a little frozen set. Uh, the pajama games. Games are so big that now that there's still people locked down or, you know, oh, okay. Not exactly like a kid's game, but I love exploding kittens. Um, Rob's friend, Greg, that he does the podcast with, he was one of the Kickstarter people that started this game, Exploding Kittens. So it's, it's really funny like it's not a kid's game but it's it's just kind of like cards against humanity you know it's really funny but this is one of my favorite games i love this one slide in the dms oh my gosh 
Really? It's a game now? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but thank you again, Alyssa, for that. Hey, Lori, we're just doing a last minute Target run. Does anybody have any? I just couldn't leave the house. I had to kind of stay close to here. Need your Christmas suit? You got a last minute Christmas party to go to? I think we could make that happen. We could make that happen right there. Yes, Cards Against Humanity is a great game. <laughs> Not exactly. We did it one time playing. We played with Scott and Vicky. I love those. Feeling festive. I love the matching pajamas. They have these last minute socks. But look, I saw them earlier. There's socks. There's Mickey socks. $12. Like a pop. Like it's a cracker. So you pop them and there's different socks in them. They have a princess one for $15 so you can get like 15 pairs of socks so you know I wish my niece still liked Disney princesses she's she's a big girl now you know so she doesn't she's not into it anymore but there's that style they got elf just last minute stocking stuffers Harry Potter socks Avenger socks Justice League socks can't go wrong they have these pajamas they had a buffalo plaid one so but they have a whole sh a whole set, and I think it's super cute for fifteen dollars. Little pajamas. You can never go wrong with pajamas. They had a lot more, and of course, candy. You can just do a little basket, like get one of those five dollar baskets that we saw at the dollar spot, and I'll fill it with a bunch of their favorite candy. Done, done. There you go. Um, scrunchies, super cute. You always need scrunchies, you know, always. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, and of course, they have all the Christmas movies here. Elf, Home Alone, Home Alone 2. A lot of Elf stuff. Oh, you are so welcome. Yes, I mean, last minute, trying to throw down some last minute ideas, guys. Christmas story socks. Just like if you're a last minute shopper, I know a lot of y'all are. Or you're just still finishing up. I always love Target because there's a Tarbucks. Tanya taught me that it is a Tarbucks, Jen. It is a Tarbucks. <laughs> it's a Starbucks and a Target. So today I got a um, Irish cream cold brew, which is completely different. Um, yeah. Look at that Santa, that, that snowman dress. That is so cute. I totally would wear that to a Christmas party. Remember that one year we wore the crazy Christmas suit? All right, we'll just go down each aisle and just have at it. They're selling bathing suits already, but I guess it's Florida. I'm like, it's too cold for that. They have all of these crazy Christmas sweaters, Christmas dresses. I've seen a few people wear them to the parks, a little jumpsuit, little dresses, the Christmas llama. <laughs> Tarbucks. Yeah, you gotta like that strong coffee flavor for sure, but only in florida we still bathing suits in the winter and sunscreen it's florida i guess i can't really complain they have a lot of cute um masks i've, I've gotten a couple of their masks because masks are now like accessories you know my red white and blue one oh did you see this mickey one they have a lot of mickey mouse items here which i think are great great prices super cute sweatshirt Hey, B. We're just doing last-minute Christmas shopping at Target. $21.99. You know, easily accessible if you have a Target where you live. Hang on, let me go fold this. Because can't do it with one hand. Um, there's a plain black Mickey Mouse. There's a gray Mickey. There's a black. This is where I get that Baby Yoda shirt. They always have a ton of Disney clothes. Good things are coming. Oh, yeah, the Baby Yoda shirt. Heather has this one, too. So the Baby Yoda shirt is from Target. It's $14. So you need your Baby Yoda shirt? Target. Target. You got this. Mickey Mouse. It's kind of a little of a hot mess. Ooh, new Baby Yoda shirt. Wait now. Oh, sorry. I might just grab my buggy. I'm the worst with my buggy. I leave it everywhere. Oh, that's cute. 
look at that, the many faces. The child's many faces, $14.99 at Target. There's the pensive, there's the sipping the tea. There's a look at me, I'm cute. Ooh, it's a cute one, $14.99. Cause I always find a lot of cute Target. The Hocus Pocus shirt was from here too. That came out during Halloween. They get a lot of Disney items, um, I'm telling you. Um, trying to see if there's any more over there. It's like the little junior section. Friends. This little tank top, little Minnie Mouse tank top, 14 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. Sweatshirts, $15. It's like cozy weather right now. You know, you can never go wrong with cozy clothes because it stays cold for so long here. No, it doesn't. But they always have like Disney stuff, so you never know what you're going to find at Target, you know? A lot of Disney stuff usually. All right. Let's keep driving the buggy, girl. Friends. Choose Kindness. Oh, that's a great shirt. And it's pink. Super cute. I love that. Oh, I saw this one earlier. It says, Coffee, please. I mean, really. Jurassic Park. You need a Universal Studio shirt. There you go. This one says, Oh, Dog Mom. <laughs> that's me. Okay, got the women's section over here. Shoes, I was in the shoe, shoe, shoe section earlier. Looking for, just looking at shoes. I love Target. Headbands are just really making a comeback. There's so many of them. Keep smashing that like button. Cute little jewelry. They have all these bobble bar jewelry sets already. 20 bucks. If you're a last minute shopper, you know, just like who you're shopping for. Pajamas are a great, great present. <laughs> you can never like cozy clothes, a throw, anything cozy like that. Oh my gosh. So fun. I love this robe over here. I don't know where it is, but it's so cute. Look, it's all fuzzy on the inside. I'm never taking the thing off. I don't know where it is. I need to find it. It's it's so fluffy. I love anything shearling. I love anything shearling. Mm. So I'm like, I love this robe. I need a new robe. <laughs> where is it? What size is it anyway? Is it the last one? Oh, it's an extra small. Hmm. Just go up and down each aisle. Go around the middle. Pajamas. Yeah. Animal prints are really making a comeback this season. It's crazy. Like, everywhere we go, I'm seeing tons of animal prints. I can't find that robe. Go figure. It's going to be like the one thing I think is cute is probably sold out. <laughs> but I figure, hey, give you some last-minute ideas. Anybody... Yeah, and that material. Like, I totally forgot I had these Hollister surf shorts. And I'm like, they're so cozy. I never get to wear, like, they're just, like, fitted. But then they kind of straight leg at the bottom instead of just being super tight. But they're, like, a sweat material, so they're super fuzzy. Mm. I love your sweater. Yeah, they have pretty good active wear here. I've gotten a couple pair of leggings from here. They're pretty good, but my favorite place to get leggings, honestly, is <laughs> Ross. Ross Marshall's TJ Maxx. They just have good stuff. For I can always find, like, good name brand stuff. Like, I never understand the Lululemon thing. Everybody's obsessed with Lululemon. I just can't see paying $110 for leggings, y'all. When I could go to Ross and get them for 16 bucks. I know it doesn't say Lululemon or whatever, but I'm like, it's leggings. I mean, it, is it giving you, like... A massage? <laughs> what is it? $110. Explain that to me. Like $53 running shorts. 
I know that's like quality, quality kind of thing. It is. It's expensive. I just don't get it. It's like such a popular thing right now. They even opened one in Disney Springs. We have a Lululemon there. Sometimes they hide little cozy clothes in here. It's cute. I'm like, we can just go to Target and they're just as cute. But I always like the ones with the pockets. I know that, what was, what brand is that? The Fabletics, Fabletics. Um, my sister-in-law likes the Fabletics. I think they're like $24. They're still pricey compared to like Target or whatever, or um, TJ Maxx or something. But still, like they're $24.99 usually because that's what she asked for last year. She wanted the Fabletics leggings. And I know sometimes they have deals like buy one, get one. Ooh. Mickey pajamas. Just seeing if they have any Disney shirts because they have the yeah, others, a Mickey Mouse one, Pizza Planet. Their graphic tees are usually fairly inexpensive. But you never know what like cool thing that you can find, so always just dig. Fifty percent off. Yay! They're trying to get rid of it all. Sweet. Wait till after Christmas. It'll probably be 70% off. This is cute. $12.99, you guys. There you go. You can't even buy a t-shirt at Disney for under 20 bucks. Just saying. You can't. Disney shirts are $20 or more. Unless you go to Uniqlo. But if you're buying it at the park, $20. Sometimes even more. Sweet. Yeah, we'll be back at the Magic Kingdom tomorrow. So I just needed to, I actually need to go home. I need to go to Peter's. I've got to drop off um, Christmas presents and things and all of that good stuff. So I need to go to see Peter after this. So we'll just like, hey, I'll take you to Target with me. They have lots of phone cases, watch covers, last minute Christmas ideas for yourself or your, all the Apple products are, oh, they're just not there. They're hidden. I'm still hoping one of these days I'll find a PS5, but it ain't gonna happen. iPod, AirPod covers, they've got tons of cases. And of course, I need a pop socket, actually. <laughs> Just another, another reason why I'm here for my other phone. This is cute, see? They got this thing so you could mount it on the car, and that way it could be, if you're live streaming, you could just mount it on the car and then hands-free and you don't have to worry about it. So I was thinking to get one of these. And that way you can chit-chat and talk and do whatever and your phone is not going to go anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> they have pop wallets. They have these new ones now that just go over the phone. So you can move it around, which is kind of cool. Which is good, I guess, if you're, because if you're live streaming, honestly, and you don't have a pop socket, this is good. Because if you're putting it on your gimbal, you can pop it off, which is an excellent idea. I mean, only I think of stuff like that. But it's not like affixed to wherever you glue the pop socket to. You can slide it up and down your phone wherever you want to put it. But if you live stream, because your gimbal clamp's got to go usually where your pop socket is, this is an excellent idea because then you can move it and put it wherever you want. But yeah, the slider one is great. I probably should get one of those because if I use a different, although the, my gimbal now, I'm okay. I can actually stream with a pop socket on because it doesn't hold it in the middle. It holds it on the end. But I think this is great. I've never tried it. I don't know if anybody's tried this one. It smushes down. It goes up. You can put it on the dashboard or you can put it on the window. That way you could put your phone there and you don't have to worry about it. Mm. And I need a new pop socket. So that's literally one of the things that came in here for. But, ooh, they're shiny. I've had this one, the silver, the shiny, 
um, it comes off. Like all of the pink tends to wear out. So I'm like, mm, cause I've bought that before already. The pink is just completely gone after a while. So maybe not so much. There's a tie dye one that's pink. And I tried to order one on Amazon. They're not even coming till the end of December. There's a lot of pop sockets on there, but if you even would you do prime, they're not gonna be here like it's not next day or anything. So I think they're just they're just a lot of them are not prime like next day or two day or whatever. It's taken a hot minute to get here to sign on. I guess I have to go to Target and go find one. Because this one that I have on this phone is really cute and I got it here at Target. I'm just seeing I mean I would buy the same one. If I would find it. <laughs> I wanted this like pink cheetah one. That's like a cheetah print. That's really cute. It's like a pale pink. Um, they got one with Burt's Bees on it. If you need lip balm. Oh, you love it? Oh, thank you, Max. So anybody? No Disney ones. I don't like the Disney ones yet because they're not the colors. I'm looking for pink. They have like a blue Mickey, red. I'm waiting for them to come out with like more pink. They don't have any pink or princess ones or anything yet. Or they just started carrying pop sockets at the park. Trust me, if I could buy it at the park, I would because I would get a discount. But <laughs> they don't have anything I like. Like it's all blue, green, red. It's not pink. <laughs> they don't have any princess ones yet. So I wish. They're, ooh! can never go wrong with the Grogu one. Is it a baby Yoda? There you go. He's a cutie. Oh, this is just the, it's not the full pot, it's just the lid. But I love pop sockets, can't leave home without them. Uh, more baby Yoda one, sipping the tea. They're great. They really help you from dropping your phone. And then I love their car mounts. So you just basically like, they have one of these for the car. You just put it on the air vent, but it works really good. Like it just, it holds it in there very well. Here's a pineapple. Oh, these are all just lids. The was the um, interchangeable. I even looked at TJ Maxx and everything. They just didn't have any cute prints. I think Disney will get there eventually. They're just a little late to the party. They're just catching up usually with phone cases, technology. They need a few months to catch up to get to where they need to be, like with new cases and new phones coming out. So they don't even have any 12, 12 Pro Max or anything like that, 12 Pro Mini. I'm looking, oh, better selfies. Yeah, I don't want the Burt's Bees one. This one, I wish I could show you the one I have. It's glittery and pink. It's a pink glitter one, and I did get it here at a Target. I don't know if it was this Target, but I bought it at a Target. So we'll keep looking. They have pop sockets everywhere. Otter boxes are just so expensive. Same thing, they're not caught up yet. They're only at like the 11 Pro level, but they're like 50 bucks. Oh, here's some more pop sockets. Let's see what they got. I know like, Universal has a ton. Oh, here's a black pop mount. They got nails. It's so weird. Wants to match your. See, it's almost like a little tripod, but here's a black version of that one. Probably need to get a black one, not a white one. So, the white one's gonna get dirty. And here's your car mounts that you put on your... They really hold it well, trust me. And I know they're popular with the college kids is the pop wallet because you just bring your phone. Let's see if they have any bling bling ones. Yeah, it's weird with a lip gloss, you're right. And that would not be the most sanitary thing, I think, after a while. What is that? Wait, I got one. I think I'll just get the same one. I know I'm boring, but literally this is the one I have. It's this one. I have the same one, right, that we have right now. 
Yeah, it's just simple. Just have glitter on it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I have the same one that, that I'm using right now, but it's for the second phone because I'm switching that Disney case out. I'm tired of it. It keeps falling off my phone. You know, those, those $36.99 Disney phone cases that are two pieces, they literally fly off. My phone keeps flying off of it. So here you go. You need a Elsa, like a Fitbit, Vivo Fit Junior. <laughs> they get a Disney Princess Gorman, Vivo Fit. So cute. They got a lot of different bands. This is also a great place to get bands for Jay. I mean, 339 bucks for that 55 inch. That's a steal. They had like an $89 TV in here for Black Friday. But $399, $349 for a Roku Ready. Hey, hey, hey. That I have. But I figure I'll just buy the same one because I'm boring. But it's pink and it's sealed. See, I like this one because it's it's not going to come off. Like you could tell there's like lacquer on it. I've had a lot of pop sockets in my life. And the nice thing about pop sockets is that once the sticky, once the stickiness wears out, you could buy a pack of eight for $5 on Amazon. It's a 3M sticker. You just alcohol it, clean it, and then put a brand new adhesive on it, and it's good again forever. So this, this is pretty sturdy. It's what I have on this phone right now that we're using. Yeah, 12 Pro Max. But might as well get the same one. See, I buried it on the bottom. I s trying to help you guys get last minute gift ideas, but I did need a pop socket. <laughs> so, what is that dang phone? It's buried in here somewhere. Up oh, there it is. So, I got a new case for the backup phone. I just did the pink. The, like the. It's kind of like, yeah, I got I got a bunch of new glass protectors. It's all jacked up, but I need to go change it when I get home. <laughs> but this will look really, really cute with this case. See? It's like that. Bam. Cute and adorable. Done. So, that's why I think I just got this case from Amazon. It just came in today. I got rid of the baby Yoda one because I'm tired of it because it keeps coming off the, keeps coming off the phone. It literally comes off my phone while I'm at the parks. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You get lost in Ikea? Yeah. It will match, that's what they look like. So I guess it's it does like chores. Oh, it's a low jack for your kids. There you go, you wanna know where your kids are? Disney low jack. <laughs> it's a Garmin Vivo Fit. It says, keep track of your kids activity and sleep and chores and gives rewards you can swim in it shower in it tracks you oh it's good i think that's a great idea you know especially nowadays where a lot of kids really don't go outside and play anymore you guys are usually just mostly inside hanging out i know the versa three a lot of you guys have the versa three as well super cute Roku's are great because the TV I have upstairs was not a sick is great. So that's another great one. You got a college student or you have a TV that your TV is a couple years old that doesn't really quite get like Disney Plus and all of that. Just get a fire stick. I'm telling you, it'll save your life and all your streaming services. That's a great gift too. It's on sale for $30. There you go. They're great gifts. But I had to do this for my upstairs TV because it didn't get all of the apps. It was a not so smart Sony. <laughs> it was a semi smart Sony. And it just burnt. Yeah, it looks just like this. You literally just shove it to the HDMI port in the back of your TV, and that's the remote. And you can talk to it too. Like, you'd be like, college kid, high school kid, somebody who needs, like, a, they, they inherited a not so smart TV. Those things are awesome. You can talk to it, and it'll open. You're like, open Disney Plus. It's great. 30 bucks. Hey, Heather, we're shopping. Hey, hey, hey. You got a Roku. Exactly. Same thing. Perfect. If you want Roku, Ro the Roku is $21.99. It's right here. Same kind of thing. Hey, that one's cheaper. $21.99. That one's $30. $30. Yeah, it does the same kind of thing. E really, really easy to set up, right? Same thing, right, Dan? You just plug it in, right? Plug it in, set it up kind of on the TV, and you're good to go. So all these things are great. But I know for sure 
a couple of my friends that have they had a little TV and they had to send their, you know, kid to college. They had to get one of those because <laughs> it's not a super smart TV. It was just like a semi-smart TV. It was good. Electronics are always a good, good, good bet. You can never go wrong. Speakers. No way, Ed. That's crazy. What's up, Heather? We're just doing a little shopping. Last minute. Last minute. Um, Super shopper. I am. I know. I heard. A Target's. Natalie was telling me. Yeah, waterproof. These are perfect for Florida. Like a little portable speaker. Especially it's at waterproof. We're surrounded by water on all four sides. All three sides. Oh, I have one of these small Altic Lansing ones. The little tiny one, smaller than this. I think it's the older version, but I use it for work because at Disney you're not allowed to put AirPods on. Red one, that same thing. You know, when the restaurant isn't open, like I get, I used to get to work three hours before the restaurant opened. So, oh, here's more holiday ones, good vibes only. Oh, this one's kind of cute, too. Look. That one's really cute, too. I love pop sockets. <laughs> so we get the new, get another one. Same one, I know. Kind of boring, but hey. 279 bucks for that TV? Y'all, that's a good deal. I got some good TVs in here. Under 300 bucks for a 50-inch TV? That's a bargain. But these little speakers are great gifts. For sure. Oh, it's probably all the TVs. Uh, let me just move away in the corner. Ooh, yeah, Bose is great, but Bose is expensive. There's a Bose outlet down south at Sawgrass. They have it, but I th I'm sure we have one up here too. Yeah, the ring, the indoor camera. I think we got one. All these smart devices, you can hook up your entire house to a smart device. You don't even have to get up anymore. Here's your Google, temp the Nest temperature sensor, because I know the Nest works with the Google. This one, the thermostat. A lot of houses that I even looked at with, with us, you know, trying to buy a house, a lot of them had the Nest in it. I think more and more people just trying to, here's the home, the Google Home Mini. On sale for $24.99, used to be $50. It's kind of like an Alexa, but it's Google. Because this isn't, the Echo Dot now is big. <laughs> it used to be those little discs. I think I saw those over here. They were on sale or something. But there's the Google Nest Mini. I mean, even for the speaker version. There you go. That's Hero 8, 7. It's like two gen behind. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry, it's a shopping stream. That's what the title and the thumbnail says. Does it not? <laughs> yeah, if you guys are just here for theme parks, so it's definitely not a theme park stream today. I needed to do some adulting, so there's plenty of people out in the parks tonight. Hurt my feelings. If you guys are <laughs> if you guys are just here it's it's a shopping stream it is streamless it is that holiday season i mean that's awesome that you're done with your shopping i know i'm not <laughs> so but yes this is not a theme park stream so like it says on the title and on the thumbnail and if that's why you want i will see you guys tomorrow at the magic kingdom no big thing i totally understand so yes <laughs> if you don't want a target run honey there we go. I guess there's going to be dead spots, y'all. I can't even tell. All right. Let me double check on the other phone. I just, I'm going to have dead spots. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the dead spots are at the Target. It's not the Magic Kingdom. If it was a theme park, I could tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we good? Are we good? Yes, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're going to lag. Just holler at me. 
and I'll move away, okay? I think we're good now. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. We're cool. Awesome, awesome. All right, just holler and be like, girl, move. Air buds. Yeah. We're good now. Okay, I just got to move out of the way. I just got to keep my eye on the signal there. It'll say, like, whatever it is. I'll keep the phone out just in case we want to look at it. And the other phone just to see. Make sure. Ooh, cameras. Oh, I was going to see that it's such a common thing. Now, look, they sell selfie lights. They have a whole little vlogging kit that you could have for your house. I think that is just so cool that it's so easily accessible now. You get a little, like, like a Manfrotto, like a pixie with a little... Like the little L frame that you can put your microphone, your light, your phone. You get a Bluetooth remote. I think that's really cute. And to have it like at the Target. So if you're traveling, <laughs> you actually need a tripod because it broke. You can go to your neighborhood Target. Usually there's Target almost everywhere. But I mean, even I started off with one of these cute little Gorilla Pods, you know, little tiny ones. It broke. Can't have a selfie stick, unfortunately, but little kit right here with content kit but get that little vlogging kit right there for 40 bucks little selfie ones they're usually cheaper on amazon but if you can't wait like in a pinch sd cards it's great <laughs> card readers and writers i mean people it happens you're on vacation you just might need it Does this one have a flip screen? Or I can't tell. Oh, it is a flip screen. Oh, cute. Oh, and this is a mirrorless camera. It's the M200. You have to buy lenses for it, but I mean, wow. I don't know how much it is. They don't have prices on anything. But they sell like DSLRs. But this would be a this would be a good vlogging one. Because you can actually change the lenses out. I have to look at the specs on an EOS M200, but it's a touch screen. Anytime there's a flip up screen is always great. Um, I always suggest the Canon G7X Mark II is a great vlogging camera. A lot of people use it to this day because it's very, very good in low light. You can get it on Amazon now for $4.99. I mean, that sucker used to be like over $700. And it's because they came out with the, the Gen 3, which you don't want the G7X Mark III. If you're trying to decide between a Canon G7X Mark II or a Mark III, do not buy the Mark III because I had that thing. They even have little content creator kits. That's amazing. The M200, it comes with a tripod grip. That is great. This might be Canon's answer to the Sony ZV-1. Because look, it has the remote and everything. Hmm, I have to look into that and see. Oh, there it is. It's $649. So it's like, it's cheaper than the Sony. I'll have to look at specs because I can't tell what the f-stop on that is. Because the thing is, you want to make sure it's good in low light. If you're going to be doing any theme park blogging, you need a camera that's good in low light. But that's a great price. $649 for the remote, the SD card, and the camera. And this is a Canon. Canon is very, very user-friendly. I started off with Canons. I had no problem transitioning to a Sony. But I'll have to look into that. That's a really interesting... It's, it's just like the Sony. It has that remote thing. That you can control the camera with it's like a stick and a remote i love my little vlogging vlogging kit is what they call it with sony i love it but that is great because it has a remote so if you're by yourself and you're trying to get that shot down main street and nobody can take the picture for you you can set up your camera you can walk over there have that remote in your hand and bam take your instagram picture just like that <laughs> so that's that oh just for the camera 4.99 that's a really good price that is not a bad price oh there it is see this is the lens that it's it is a mirrorless camera it's a 3.5 to 6.3 
this is not very good in low light you would have to buy a new lens that has like a f-stop of like a 1.8 or 1.4 this is a mirrorless camera so that means the lens comes off you can replace it you know it comes like that as it's just like the sony that's what it is they're trying to make it just like the sony but it's a really good idea and you can even do vertical hey not a bad price considering that the g7x mark ii by itself was over 700 dollars, and you get all of that for 649 it's like a vlogging kit crazy yeah definitely zach it's got content creator kit that's a good i know that it's still a lot of money i know it is it is always an investment if this is something you want to do but honestly it's not a bad price a camera alone is usually over 700 800 dollars so this whole thing you get the whole kit for 649 and i'd wait to see if it goes on sale you never know it comes with the remote the sd card and the the lens and remember this is a mirrorless camera so you can replace this lens you can buy a new, new lens switch it out canon is very user friendly just something you know that's new never seen that before but that's really cool hmm very interesting i still always suggest the canon g7x mark ii because it's 499 you don't need that remote <laughs> or i would see if that remote is compatible with you may be able to buy just the remote the the little stick right here by itself and then put it onto your canon g7x mark ii if you want a camera that you don't need to worry about like you literally turn that sucker on it's going to give you high quality video and everything the canon g7x mark ii that's what I told Heather got that camera. Todd got that camera. And I'm like, that is the vlogger's favorite for very many years for good reason. And it's like, you can find it for $4.99 now. So if you're looking for a good, good vlogging camera and you can just buy one of those pixie sticks, Walmart sells them. Amazon has them for $12, $13. Just a little mini tripod to hold it to keep it steady. You know, maybe like Christmas is coming, right? Birthdays. I would just keep squirreling away your, um, what do you call it? Your your gift cards. <laughs> That's what I did, you know, to, to, to buy things. You got to buy a little bit at a time. You can't just go out there and spend thousands of dollars. You could if you had that kind of cash flow, go for it. But of course, you know, if you just need that one good camera or it's an investment, <laughs> but I, would, I always suggest the Canon G7X 7, Mark II. I think I have it linked in the description box. That is the one camera that you can turn on. You don't have to know anything about anything. You can put it on video, automatic, on auto, and start. And it'll come out with really, really good footage. <laughs> yeah. TP. Oh no. All your Disney movies. Books. Ah, oh, yum. Hmm. Gremlins and the Goonies. Classic. All right. What do we got? Is that baby Yoda? A lot of Funkos. It's been like, yeah, the shelves are kind of empty. They always have a lot of cute fandom stuff. They'll have collectibles and such. A lot of this is horror. <laughs> Where's the Disney stuff? My other Target has more Disney stuff than this one. This is a different one than I went to. I went to a different one. Okay. Rob is like you, Dan. He goes from Target to Target looking for toys books oh toy sections next door all right clearance oh, there's no bikes santa's bringing everybody a bike for christmas apparently for is it those action figure thingies again what is no this is a 
think it's over here. And know Rob collects like the, the Star Wars ones that he does and Let's see, let's see. I know he got the uh, the Ghostbuster ones. Nice, oh, that's great. I know you have to get here at like seven in the morning when the new stuff comes out. Cause, oh, the GI Joes, that's it. This is all the ones that he collects, they're always empty. So I always look, he's like, anytime I see a GI Joe, just buy it. Okay, well, there's never any, so. I don't get here at the crack of dawn like he does. I say, I know a lot of them are collectible. They're worth a lot of money. I, I wouldn't know, but I know he does this. He'll get up at, he's at the Target by seven in the morning waiting for them to open. I think the ones that are all empty are probably all the ones you guys want. Like the collectible ones that are worth a lot of many <laughs> empty Star Wars figures, Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars. Shelves are empty. There's some Lando. We got Lando Calrissian though. Oh, that's awesome, Hayden. That's a great deal. He does. He he like jumps on these. Like they are all empty. And um the the little bounty collection, the little baby Odas. There's like a series one, series two, series three is about to come out with a bounty collection. Rob knows I need all six. <laughs> He's gotten me all of those, which is super nice. Like he's the little baby Yoda bounty ones, like the wee, the wee baby Yoda that I carry in my backpack. They're called the bounty collection. The little tiny ones are so cute because they're just drawn really well. Like they're made, he has a cute expression. He's adorable. A lot of empty. Oh, there he is. Sweetie. It's her little sweetie. Oh, I don't even see any of those. These are all. I don't even see any Hot Wheels or anything like that. This is all Super Mario, Minecraft, Roblox. There ain't no Legos either. Jeez. <laughs> Halo. Ooh, Game of Thrones. No way. They got little baby dragons. There's Drogon. Oh, that's so cute. They got all three? They do. They got Rhaegal, Drogon, and Viserion. Uh, I would just get the eggs. So cute. That's adorable. So they're little, they're all Daenerys' dragons. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, cute. Or you can carry them around like as a cosplay, you know? You can put them in a basket and be like, I'm waiting for my eggs to hatch. If you're doing like Khaleesi cosplay. I would do just buy those, that way you don't have to make the eggs, you know? Because I've seen people make them for, like, when I go to MegaCon and people go all out. I mean, these people are amazing. Boy, toy section's been, like, ransacked. Water bottles are super popular, too. Yes, they are cheaper here, but you know where I can get them really, really cheap? Um, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. And then just put all your, you know, your little stickers on it. They have different colors, though. Cute pink ones. Um, Costco's got, a, I think, a two-pack. But water bottles, you can never go wrong. They even have, like, the Yeti. The Zach is, like, the Yeti knockoffs. $10 instead of Yeti brand. Yeah, if you're, if you're artistic, you could definitely make them. Last minute Christmas gifts. It looks the bikes are all gone. If you're looking for a bike for Christmas, you're not gonna get one. Um, yeah, the bikes are empty. Oh my gosh, yeah, their shelves, are, they look like they were ransacked. There's no bikes, there's like one bike. Goodness. Some X-Men, Storm. It's the frozen horse. That's so cute. 60 bucks if you wanna go ride the horsey. Or a frozen pop-up pretend table. What, isn't that actually a table? Okay, but that's cute. 50 bucks for a big old frozen castle. Me too, Target run, $160. Oh my, steep, steep. 
<laughs> Last minute things. I'm trying stocking stuffers. I mean, all these aisles are bare. Candy. You can never go wrong. Go into the dollar spot. Grab one of those little baskets. Some red paper. And I do need to find red tissue paper. Because I'm trying to split up my red paper with the white paper. So it's not just all white. I have a ton of white paper. But I need red paper to add some color. I'm going to find any. Goodness gracious. Cupboards are bare. Bubbly. Wine. All these stocking stuffers. Goodness gracious. There's not much left at the holiday shop. Cupboards are bare. <laughs> wow. Picked over. Oh, for sure. All the dog treats from the fridge. I've never tried those. There's like the good, good treats. Oh, is that Dancing Santa? Okay. I thought it was like the Rob Dancing Santa. <laughs> wow. A few ornaments left. Yeah, all this, the trees were like 40% off. They're probably less now. They were 40%. I bet you they're less now. I don't know how much. Oh, the bins are ready for after Christmas. Throw all your Christmas decorations in there. Yeah, there ain't nothing left, y'all. Nothing. Holy moly. Yeah, I still have a ton of, like, I buy a lot of my bows, wrapping paper, um, and tags. I buy them from Costco because they have these awesome Disney tags. They literally last me for, like, three years. Been using the same box for three years. <laughs> Hey, I still have a ton left, so why not? I'm not even going to find any tissue paper. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's not enough tissue paper. I need, like, a lot more than eight pieces of tissue. Oh. I get a little jewelry thing. Maybe get like three of these. I need all red, but I have a ton of white. I have like this much white. The Costco like stack of white paper. I was just trying to just add different colors to it. It's just all white. I have a ton of white at home. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Alright. It's just to add some color in between the white. Because it's still white. All I want for Christmas is you. There's some tags, stickers. So, but yeah, I like the stickers too. I've been using, just like I said, the one from Costco for like, it's like $14, but it's a big giant box with beautiful like little handmade tags and they're great. I'm still gonna have to do a lot of wrapping. All right. Keep smashing that like button. I know. I'm doing that pink Christmas next year. I want to do the pink Christmas tree with all the white. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Um, they had a white Christmas tree here. I should have bought it when I saw it. They had a one of those little four feet, tr four foot trees. Okay. All the groceries. They have those keto waffles here, by the way. I don't know if I ever told you guys about those. They have the keto waffles. Um, here. They're like egos. They're keto ego waffles. I have till the 1st of January, so I'm good. I'm not doing keto right now, just for clarification. 
I'm enjoying this holiday season and it's my first holiday season actually off in six years. So I'm enjoying it. I'm going to eat. I'm going to go down in a blaze of glory. And we're going to start cracking down and getting back into the eating better. <laughs> hey, I'm eating everything right now, which is crazy. Fun, but crazy. Um, I was going to show them to you guys. It's in here, though. I think they're birch benders. They're like little Eggo waffles. They're already made. You just got to toast them a little longer. But they taste just like Eggo waffles. So I'm like, thank goodness. No, that's the adult beverages. This apple juice. Goodness me. They got plenty of beer and wine though. Mm. Rice. breakfast items mm, potatoes bread all the things I can't eat come January 1st or come January <laughs> yeah breakfast. it's with like the breakfast like where the Eggo waffles are okay here we go that's it the birch benders this stuff so come January, I'll be loading up on the waffles. <laughs> they have them here, ready to make. They're just like Eggos. Ah, let me check. I don't think I've gone to the toilet paper yet. Um, Costco had it, so I do love this pink one. I see. My, my Keurig is red, but I love this pink Keurig because, like, I need another Keurig. I don't, but I like it because it's pink. Uh, let me check over there. There's the toilet paper and stuff down there. Um, our Costco had it, so our Costco had toilet paper, paper towels, thank goodness. So we're okay there. My favorite milk, Fairlife. I could guzzle that whole milk right now in one sitting. That whole thing. That's my favorite milk. The Fair Life. I love it. <laughs> I love to drink. Milk is like one of my favorite things to drink. So, so delicious. Mm. Okay. Oh, we got toilet. We got paper towels, y'all. Ooh, alcohol wipes. Only one per gas, but look. I'll be great for your Disney bag. It's all 75% alcohol. Sweet. $4.49, but they got a ton. Yep. Needs the apple juice. Yes, he does. But they have that. They got a lot of bounty. They always have, like, they never ran out of paper towels at Costco. It's just, it's, oh, we got TP, y'all. I mean, it's not the best, but uh, we got TP. We got TP. Oh, we got TP. We good. We good. I have I have one of these that were just like in a pinch. Like, that's like part of my pandemic stash. So I got some of that. Like, like yeah, the scratchy, scratchy stuff. The not soft and squishy stuff. But yeah, here you go. You got toilet paper. The Up and Up brand. 18 mega rolls for 14 bucks. We got toilet paper, people. You need TP? There you go. <laughs> we got it. We got it. So if you need TP, we're good. Costco had it too. I don't know if Walmart did or not. I'm not really sure. I'm going to ask Peter. I'm sure they did, but they got all the brands. They got the up and up brand. I'd get that big giant thing right there. Stock it up floor to ceiling, Sherman. You need the good stuff right there. Charmin, but we got TP, y'all. We're good. Cottonell. So they're limiting toilet paper and flushable wipes to one. Yeah, they're limiting the people. So there you go. So that's good. At least they're not allowing people to like stockpile and be crazy. You just go out, come back in, go out, come back. Flushable wipes, same thing. But Costco had the flushable wipes, too. They had the big container. Sanitizing wipes. 
These are also one per person, 75% alcohol. Oh, yeah, there's a supermarket section there. I'm sure they have eggnog. They have cold brew. They have all of that stuff. It's Target. <laughs> they got everything for the most part. Pharmacies closed. Wet ones. I'm still trying to find isopropyl, though. Like, regular street isopropyl alcohol. Because that I don't think I've been able to find at all. They've got butter. Yeah, they got silk. Oatly. I'm sure they've got eggnog. It's just like a regular grocery store. There's creamer. Alright, I'm going to see if I can find isopropyl alcohol. Because I still haven't been able to find... Ooh! I think I hit the mother load. Oh my gosh. Oops, sorry. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she like stop that one. This is what I use to clean all my devices. I always have them in every bag I have. It's you want it at least 70%. It's what I have in all of these little bath and body work sprays. I always clean this is all isopropyl alcohol that's in here. It's not a spray, but I put that in there and I use one of these and I clean all my devices with it all the time. Hit the mother load right there. Yeah. I'm not hoarding. I'm just buying four. I'm gonna be good. I got plenty of peroxide at home. I hit the mother load, you guys. Um, yeah, there's places that still don't have isopropyl. Target's got it, y'all. Target's got it. <laughs> yeah, my phones. I spray down my phones, all my devices. I spray my steering wheel down. That's what sanitizer is. It's the isopropyl alcohol that will kill it. So I just spray straight alcohol. But it also, you know how, like, your phone gets greasy because it's your fingers, right? So if you, you always, I've always done it before the pandemic. I would always spray my phone. It cleans like the camera lens. That way y'all aren't dirty and greasy. But I always just use all my little empty Bath and Body Works things. Look, they're even selling little storage pouches for your mask. That's great. Oh, it's got masks in it. That's cool. Like little paper, like for school or whatever. That's cool. But I know, oh, they even sell the, the carbon filters if you need the filters for your mask. Wow, Target's got it going on. There's masks, there's everything. I haven't been able to find isopropyl since March. Todd actually had to send me alcohol from Louisiana. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Toilet paper couponing, yes, Jason. See, everybody who was a survivalist. And we had stashes stockpiles everybody was laughing back then who's laughing now nobody <laughs> oh yeah there's a ton of hand sanitizer is 90 percent isopropyl so they got hydrogen peroxide right there i got plenty of peroxide that never ran out during the dang pandemic so but isopropyl mm -mm. four bottles will do me for a while because i fill up all of my I was finishing up the last bottle that um, Todd sent me from Louisiana because <laughs> I literally ran out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. <laughs> no, I need that. I spray all my devices. I have to. I've always used it. All right. So we have toilet paper, wipes, body wipes. They've got it at Target. So check your neighbor at Target if it's not something you thought about. There you go. The gift, the perfect Christmas gift. Oh, and another good one is definitely lip balm because you're saving a fortune in lipstick and lip gloss because nobody can see it under your mask, but lip balm, you know, you get that mask, your lips get dry. Lip balm, good for everybody. That's always a cute little stocking stuffer and you can add in somebody's um, little basket or something because you can never go wrong with lip balm because your lips get really dry underneath the mask sometimes. Um... I think they had the, um, the sanitizer over by the pharmacy, like over there in the front. They had a bunch of, oh, right in front by the dollar spot. Anyone to the dollar spot? Ooh, fall night long. Smell it. Ooh, it smells great. 
$4.99. Since that crazy, um, <laughs> we're gonna get this ocean. Is that a new flavor? A Febreze? Is that like main cologne? Hey, Nikki, ginger and water lily. Ooh, that smells good. I've got like my Magic Candle Company candles. I love all the I have the Christmas shop burning right now. It smells like pine trees in my house. It's the uh, the the Christmas shop. Like <laughs> I love Magic Candle, but you never know. You can find a good deal with candles. I love all the Christmas scents. Rob loves pine flavor, anything. So he would he likes pine all year long. Like if I can find plugins or anything that's Christmas flavor, he wants to burn or the wallflowers because I have wallflowers from Bath and Body Works and then you know when you can't find the Christmas stuff I switch it over to the Glade because the Glade is cheaper but he only he only likes like mostly the Christmas smelling stuff like it's got to smell like pine trees yeah they're all out of the pine it's like the first flavor like once it comes out in like the fall September October it's already gone it just has that clean smell and I love that Christmas tree shop that they have right now at um magic candle company it's so so good <laughs> there's also a code down there it'll help you out it's a it's not an affiliate link i don't make any money off of that it just gives you discounts um it smells more piney than cinnamony because you know when you walk in that shop at walt disney world at, at magic kingdom it's more cinnamon and kind of like smelly carpet smell it actually smells like pine trees it's more piney which that's why I love it. I've got in the car last night. <laughs> Mitch and I were driving, and we were driving by the Contemporary, and you know how that is. It's the eau de sauvage, the sewage smell, smell that's always coming out of there. We're like spraying, we're like, oh my God, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> we're like dying. We're like, what always? It always smells like sewage sometimes. <laughs> true, true story. You know what I'm talking about. If you've ever walked, over there, like walking from the Magic Kingdom by the Contemporary, there's just that smell. You're like, what is going on? <laughs> it always smells like sewage. All right, we got plenty of detergent. Yes, it does. It, you know that smell. If you've ever walked from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary, right in the corner where Space Mountain is, there's always a stinky, stinky smell. It smells like sewage, you know, like stinky. <laughs> so you drive by, you're like, poof, the smell hits you. Kids plates. Aroomba. They had a good deal for what Amazon Prime Day. I know Peter was able to get one of these Roombas. He likes his Roomba. I don't know if you guys have Roombas. If you like it, don't like it. You know, it's it's a it's a hit or miss. Some people hate it. Some people love it. <laughs> Especially you think if you have pets, it's very important because then you know you got hair everywhere. Oh, these are great. The little mini waffle makers. I have one that's a mini griddle. That's just a... These make little baby waffles. I like the mini griddle that I got because it's literally just a griddle. You can make an egg or a pancake. But it's great because you can make an egg right in there for one person. It's like that perfectly round shape. You can make your own like egg McMuffin or something. It's perfect. That's a cute little gift. I use mine all the time. I have a little red one that Rob... Um, got me and I, I use it in the morning mugs are, are one of my favorite presents is look at that it says queen king so cute no never just a job right oh yeah Lysol I haven't seen Lysol in a hot minute lots of alcohol but you know <laughs> yeah Lysol is hard to find hard to find I love mugs. I have too many mugs, but I love mugs. Love is a four-legged word. Oh, puppy love. Good morning, sunshine. Cute. Oh, these are the plates. I don't know if I talked about these plates before. I may have. Um, I love this whole pink set. I have it. But they're great for college or even just for every day. They are microwavable and dishwasher safe, BPA free. 
you can finally find a plate that you can nuke. You know, all those melamine plates, you can't nuke those. So I have these and I also have, not the cups, I have the plate bowls. I have the bowls, they had plate bowls too. So they might be out of the plate bowls. I love plate bowls, especially if you're eating pasta. They have these regular bowls. They also had um, soup cups. They look like little soup cups. So I got the whole set and of course they're pink. I mean, hello. Um, <laughs> and they're 79 cents each. So I bought a whole set of them. I didn't buy the cups because I already have too many cups in my cupboard. It's all theme park cups. But if like if you're always looking for a little because you can't microwave the plastic plates that you buy. They're like you can't wash them in the dishwasher because they're going to disintegrate. They're going to melt. These are cheap. Awesome alternative. I love this whole set. But I have the pink one. But they have like for college or every day. And you don't want to use a styrofoam plate or paper plate. These are great. But there's gray. All different colors and designs. I love them. Oh, you did? That's awesome, Ed. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so funny. Yes, mugs are great presents. So if you have somebody that's a coffee lover, a um, hot cocoa lover, anything like that. But these are great. Even not just for college, but like for everyday life, you know. And you don't want to use styrofoam because you can't even microwave the styrofoam plate because it'll melt. 79 cents each. You can't go wrong. But I bought the pink. Luckily, Rob just lets me do whatever. Like, he doesn't care if they're pink, purple. As long as there's food on it, he don't care. <laughs> I have a ton of those Disney melamine plates. You can't microwave them or put them in the dishwasher. So, kind of can't use them. Except for, like, it's all hand wash only. Hand wash only. All right. I think we're good. Is there anything else you guys want to see? Oh, the, they have a lot of sanitizer. It's up in the front. I know we had this thing in the news there was this whole um yeah target's getting really really bougie it's almost like an ulta now like look at how bougie their toiletry department is like they got nexus bed head they got like good name brand stuff now it's crazy i know <laughs> but they're becoming more like an ulta every day I think the sanitizer's up front. But they got all sorts of crazy stuff. Bath salts, the soap and glory stuff. The stuff used to only be sold. I see them at Walgreens too and CVS, so soap and glory. It used to be a brand that was only sold in like Ulta, but they got it at Target now. Exactly, Carrie. Oh, this is Lake Mary, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I think a lot of people are, mm, it's 8 o'clock, so on a weekday. Target's open until 10. But vitamins, hair stuff. Now, obviously, they've all been here because it's been picked over. But they've got a really big, like, toiletry department, makeup department. I love travel sizes. Buy three, get one free. Stocking stuffers. Dissolving balm. Micellar water. Great to take your makeup off. Castor oil. Very, very good if you're trying to grow your eyelashes or your hair. Natural. Oh, the Dr. Bronner's. If you want something that cleans your makeup brushes and your beauty blender, you know, those makeup sponges. The Dr. Bronner's works really, really good. This stuff will clean them nasty little beauty blender sponges. I use that every day, but I use the bar. The bar is actually better because you could just rub it on. I started with that. That works really well too, but it gets that makeup right off those sponges. It's great. <laughs> oh yeah, they have the big Mama Jama battles over here and it's all like natural stuff. This is all the, it's all like, peppermint castile soap it's just like natural soap but it cleans your makeup brushes so so well like these things you know if you're trying to clean the the makeup sponges they get so gross but those will work excellently 
Yeah, the Real Technique sponge, whatever brand you use, it's so hard to get that makeup off. Still a Target girl. Yeah, this is the Target right by the um, the mailbox. That's why I'm over here. The uh, what do you call it? The the PO box is right down the street. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so this is the one that's right by by the mail by the PO box. Where do you live in Florida, Candy? No, because you were asking which Target this was. Are you are you in Florida too? There you go, sanitizer. Just wondering if you are there. Dollar fifty, buy one get one free. The plethora of sanitizer. We got suave, unscented. And they have the little holders too. If you want a little cute holder, kind of like a Bath and Body Work, Bath and Body Works. And you got some with glitter, and here are the different holders. Get a snowman one. Get a cupcake one. These are cute. Okay, I'm coming. I gotta go. All right, Peter needs me. I gotta go. We've been shopping for like two hours. Goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> it was just a quick stop. Pit stop. Oh, I do need to go get some. But we made, made it through the whole store, y'all. We went through almost every aisle. All right. I use Milani as one of my favorite drugstore. That's the one. That's my shade. Is sand. Oh, no, no, no. Not sand. I need sand beige. That's the one. This is really, really great for drugstore. Milani is excellent. For $9. I also have my makeup forever, but that's like... 40 bucks for a bottle. Um, all right, and this is also a really good um, setting spray. You know, if you're trying to save that Urban Decay All Nighter, you don't need that in the winter because it's not sweating in Florida. That stuff is shellac for your face. So I use this one. This Milani one is a great, great dupe for it. And if you want matte finish because you got oily skin, the dewy one doesn't work that well. Kind of greasy. You end up looking like a greasy hot dog. So if you if you get this, this is a dupe for the MAC, the MAC Prep and Prime spray. But it smells really, really good too. And it's like $8, $8.99. So these are two... Like one of my ride or die, I always keep buying them for drugstore. I love Milani. And their blushes are super delicious too. I love the, uh, where is it? No, not Petal Primavera. Is that all they have? Goodness gracious. No, not the Berry Amore. There it is, Luminoso, the Luminoso blush. This is another one, peachy blush, looks good on everybody. All right, I gotta go help Peter, pa Peter pack. All right, let's get out of here. I didn't buy too much. I only have like a couple of things. But hopefully I was able to help you guys out and see what they had. Well, I'm stockpiling isopropyl alcohol. Did, did Todd see this? Look, I hit the mother load. $1.99, y'all. Costco's been out of isopropyl for months. I only got four bottles. <laughs> I need it. Okay. Oh, I need eyeliner, too. Forgot about the eyeliner. Epic ink? Where is my epic ink eyeliner? Mm -hmm. Boy, there's like picked over. Seriously. Should I run a makeup? Not the epic wear. I need the epic ink. Because they don't like the bottle. I like the one that's like a pen. Yeah, this is the one I want. That's the epic ink liner. It's called epic ink. Is a dupe for the... um. There it is. Nope, nope. Epic ink. There it is. Oh, goodness me. This is the one I use. The epic ink liner. Waterproof. In Florida, you need waterproof. Um... This is a dupe for the Kat Von D or the Stila eyeliner, which is $22 for a dang eyeliner. That's expensive. This is an awesome dupe, y'all. Drugstore dupe, 
I use this every day. But these are, these actually worked out. I could, these are my drugstore like ride or dies that I always buy that are good dupes for like, just, you know, high end makeup. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna just go to the self checkout. Oh, Starbucks closed. It must be nine o'clock. It's eight thirty. Oop. All right. I've got our social distancing markers. I'm so glad, girl. The Kat Von D, yes, that's it. No, we're not going to Peter's house. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we'll at Magic Kingdom. We're back home tomorrow. I just needed to finish up some stuff. I needed, literally came here for a pop socket in tissue paper. See what happens? Target runs are crazy. But... <sighs> Yeah, I just got the pop socket holder for the car, which is great. So if we're streaming, we can be hands-free and it mounts to the car. I don't worry about it. I did need new, I mean, I'm literally like banging my foundation, you know. I got my Irish cream cold brew. I got a new pop socket for the other phone some eyeliner because I always have a backup I have one now but I always keep a backup so when it runs out I just open it but hopefully it was able to give you guys some last minute Christmas stocking stuffer ideas or what's left and you're all we're like you know we're still living in a you know a Rona world can we use this oh okay I got one of these jewelry things. I didn't know it was for jewelry, but you guys are like, that's great. That's what it's for. I'm like, I needed one. $5 is at the dollar spot. Uh, tissue paper. All right. loaded with the alcohol. I'm going to sanitize you up. Pay is your friend. Hey, it came in under a hundred bucks. That's pretty dang amazing. <laughs> All right. We target ones. We got isopropyl alcohol. I think we got everything. All right. I gotta go. I gotta go. But it was fun. Yes, I love Big Lots. Um, funny story about Big Lots, because it always has to do with candy and stuff. I uh, <laughs> I love the meringue. You know the 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 meringue like lemon like meringue candy. There's like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry meringue. They used to sell them by the container. I loved the strawberry meringue from there. 
and I used to eat it all the time. So anyway, yeah, you're all bored. I'm sorry. I will see. Oh, you're welcome, Ed. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be at Magic Kingdom. Don't mind my crazy hair. I gotta go help Peter pack because we gotta pack all of them. We got merch to take to Miss Cheryl. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Now it's your turn to make some magic. Comment like Chris Evans black card. What? Where? Let's go buy Tesla right now. <laughs> Smash that like button if you guys haven't already. Thank you for just coming in. It's kind of like a day in my life. Shop with me. Like a real life vlog. You know, like, yes. <laughs> Doing other things aside from hanging around the theme park all day. I hope you guys had fun. I had a good day at Target, so I will see you guys tomorrow at Magic Kingdom, alright? Sweet dreams, everybody. Bye!